Hey there, welcome to another tutorial for the logo creator. One of the questions I get most often is about the save folder and how it's used. You'll notice that when you first launch the logo creator, a custom dialog box appears. Lots and lots of people don't read it. I understand. I don't read things either. But what it's telling you is that on the next screen, it's asking you to name and save a folder that will be used for all of your custom templates. When you do this, this is a Mac dialog box. It looks the same on Windows. Here's what it might look like on your Windows machine. Sit, name and save a folder for your custom templates. So basically what it's going to want you to do is is create a folder, name a folder right here. We'll call it My Saved Logos. Whatever you want to call it, wherever you want to put it. You can put it anywhere on your desktop, anywhere inside your computer. One tip, do not... Danger, Will Robinson. Danger, no, Will Robinson. Danger. <laughs> do not put it inside your documents folder, inside the Laughing Bird documents folder inside logo libraries. There's a reason for this and I'll tell you, just don't save it to this location anywhere else except for that. So once you name and save your folder, I'm gonna put mine right here on my desktop for now. Forever and ever your logos will be saved into this folder, but we can change this. I'll show you that in a second. Back to the logo creator. Now we're going to either create a new logo or modify one. So now every time you open up a, a, a new logo, it's going to ask you to name it. That's because it's going to save a copy of this so that we don't mess this logo up, this template up. It's going to, it's going to basically duplicate it and save it into that folder. Okay, name it. The logo comes up. We can do anything we want. We can modify things. All right, and then when you save it, actually, you don't even have to save it. It is automatically saved right now. It's done. You've saved it. So let's go back to select another template. Oops, I lost my logo. No, you didn't. It is right inside here. It has saved it. It's there. So the next time you go back into the logo creator, now you'll notice that a brand new menu item has appeared, My Save Logos. If you click it, there's the logo. It's been saved automatically. So if you lose your work, if the program crashes, if you forget, come back later, the logo's there. Now saving a logo is different than exporting it as an image. Just to make sure you understand that, when you want to create an image, you go to the File menu, Export as a PNG or JPEG, name it and now here is the image that can't be modified in the logo creator but it's an image all right this is what you're going to be using on your website or on Facebook or whatever okay now eventually this saved folder is going to fill up with more and more and more logos and pretty soon you're going to have too many in this folder and you're going to go crazy because there's way too many logos. So you have a few options. If you look down below, you're going to see you're going to see a small text item that says click a template to select, option click it to delete. Option clicking is on the Mac. Alt click to delete is on the Windows machine. So all you have to do is select it, but you're going to hold down the Alt key on Windows, Option key on Mac and you can easily delete the template. Boom, it's gone. You can delete this one, delete it. So one by one, you can delete the ones you don't want or mistakes or whatever. Okay, that's easy. Now, now I'm gonna show you how to categorize these logos. To do this, all you need to do is, is go to the location and rename it, anything you want. Now you can go into your documents folder into Laughing Bird Documents, go to the Logo Libraries folder, and now you can click and drag this there. And now the next time you launch the Logo Creator, because you renamed the original folder, the Logo Creator no longer knows where it is, so it's gonna ask you to create another folder. My 
second folder, whatever you want to call it, put it to your desktop, put it wherever you want, save. But the original folder that you dragged into your Laugh Remember Documents folder is also now here on the left. And you'll find it by scroll up my organized logos. Boom, there it is. Here's all your saved logos. You can do this again and again and again with only blue logos or all red logos or logos with just female characters or logos with just male characters. Pretty soon you'll have a whole bunch of logo templates here on the on the side. So there you go. That's how to categorize your logos and why and how the logo creator will save your images automatically. Okay, have fun with the software. I'll be around if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.